Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hello. You are spiritually connected with Katiba. That's for sure. Okay, look. The person on your mind wants you to know this. The person on your mind has a message for you. They are currently not in the predicament, not in the mind space to be able to tell you this themselves. They are currently feeling at a distance from you. You guys may have not talked in a while. You may have not seen them in a while. You probably are wondering, like, what are their current feelings? How do they feel? What are they thinking? Because they're not saying anything. But deep down inside, you feel like it got to be more to it. Like, you can't be the only one in this. So the person on your mind wants you to know, first and foremost, that they love you. <laughs> first and foremost, that they love you. I don't know who needs to hear that confirmation, but they love you. And you may or may not ever hear that from them, <laughs> but they love you. And it's been tough being away from you, but it was even tougher being around you. It was even tougher being around you because their, their feelings for you got so intense. They had never felt anything like that before. They had never experienced anything like that before. And you may have not even went deep with this person. For some of you, you have went deep with this person on a romantic level. But you may not have went so deep with this person. And that's the part that scares them the most. That you haven't even went that deep. And yet their feelings for you were just like, something that they've never felt before it was so intense that they had to they had to leave they had to run they had to find things to distract themselves <clears throat> excuse me the person on your mind wants you to know that it's been a rough patch and that they're going through some things in their personal life that having you around would do no good they don't want to destroy the connection. They don't want you to see them at their lowest point in life. They don't want you to see them distracting themselves with things. They don't want you to see that side of them. They only want you to see the best in them. They only want you to like see the good in them. To see them for like who, who they think that you see them as. They want you to know that they'll always have love for you. They'll always love you. It's no one that compares to you. It's no one that has been there for them like you have. It's no one that understands them like you do. The person on your mind, the person, your person, wants you to know that you have been like, such a blessing to their life you have been such a blessing to their life that it's scary it's scary that's why they ran and that's why they want that's why they kind of push your triggers for one they push your triggers because you push their triggers they want you to know that you triggered them in a way that no one ever have but for that, they want to thank you because they've grown so much from the interactions that you guys have had. They've grown so much just by being in your presence. They've learned so much that relationships that they have been in for years upon years, they didn't get what they got out of the relationship that the two of you or the connection that the two of you have. The person on your mind, they want you to know that they ran from their feelings because they felt like you maybe didn't feel the same or that if opportunity presented itself, that you would run. So they decided that they would run first. They decided that they would dismiss you first before, that you, can, before you can ever dismiss them. They felt like that that was going to be the nature of y'all's story because they've been there before. 
they've been hurt by love before and they didn't want this to turn into that. So they wanted to keep you at an arm's distance. They wanted to keep you in the friend zone because they didn't know, like they didn't want to end up hurt. They didn't want to end up heartbroken. They've been there before. They've seen, they've, they've been there before where they felt for, where they fell for someone too quick. And for you, this, it was very unexpected. They didn't see it coming. They didn't know. They didn't know. They felt like it was something special about you, but they didn't know that they would fall for you the way that they did. And for them, it really doesn't make sense because it's like, like I said, you may be, the connection may have been short lived or it just wasn't that ever that deep. Or it, it got deep way too quick. It got deep way too quick. So they ran off to distract themselves with other people, places, and things. Just so they wouldn't have to think about you. The person, your person, they want you to know that they genuinely care about you. Regardless of if you've spoken in a while or not. They actually want you to know that they want to see you. <laughs> they want to see you. They're hoping that they will run into you. Even if you're long distance with this person or long distance with this connection, they're hoping that they run into you at the airport. They're hoping that like that they 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 just really want to see you. They just really want to be in your energy because like I said, they've never felt nothing like this before. The energetic feel that they feel when they're around you is uncomparable the person on your mind they want you to know that they miss the attention that they once got from you they miss the attention nobody <laughs> nobody was giving them attention like you've gave them attention and it's not like you were doing too much. It's like you were doing just enough. And that they were very satisfied being in your presence. The person on your mind, they want you to know that they do not hate you. Because they may have not spoken to you. Because they may have shooed you off or whatever the case is. They do not hate you. They actually did that because they love you so much they didn't know what else to do they want you to know that they're working on themselves they're working on finding their inner peace they're working on their healing they're working on their life path and that they want you to do the same they're working on their happiness they just want to be happy for once they feel like they are getting to that point, but there's a barrier. So they don't want to bring you in. They don't want you, they don't want to be a burden to you. They don't want to be a burden to you. The person on your mind, they want you to know that they feel joy when they think about you. That they feel at peace when they think about you. That no one has ever given them that feeling before. That they've never thought of anyone in that way. It's like um, they love you type of connection. But it's really not that. Like I ain't going to say it's not that deep. But it's like they love you as if you were their, their family member. Like the love that they have for you. They love you as if they were your child like you were their child or something like that like that's just how deep it is they have that unconditional love for you they have that unconditional love for you they want you to know that they miss you they miss you and they want to see you they're hoping that regardless of their reactions or regardless of what they do they lightweight want you to reach out to them. Even if they ignore you. It sounds crazy, right? I know. 
they like they just want that they miss that they want that old feeling back because they've searched for it in other people but no one was able to give them what you have given them organically naturally no one has been able to touch them in a way on a soul level like in the ways in which you have you've left a everlasting impression on them this is what they want you to know like they want you to know that they're not ready they're not ready to take it to the next level because they want to be a better person before they come to you they want to be free and clear of their karmic debts before they come to you they're just not ready yet they they don't want you to forget about them it's not that they're asking you to wait on them but they would love if you still had love and compassion in your heart for them when they are ready this is what the person on your mind wants you to know this is what your person wants you to know so if this video resonates if it hit different let me know how so if you are new here i do invite you to hit that subscribe button that is all i have for this video stay spiritually you stay spiritually in tune and i will see y'all on the next one peace